Hi guys, welcome to Chef Mooney coming to you from Mooney's Kitchen. Today's recipe is a beautiful recipe. I promised you that I would do a one pan dish. That's what I'm going to do right here. Very simple, but you've got to get some ingredients ready before you start. Once this happens, it's a breeze. Okay, this recipe goes out to Diana Locke. She's one of my subscribers on YouTube. And Diana, you've asked me how to cook barramundi fillet. Now, barramundi fillet is awesome in Australia. We have it all the time. All right, come over here. Let's have a look at our ingredients. I'm going to do like a warm salad type thing. We've got, We've got a couple of cups of pumpkin. I've got some gorgeous basil from my garden. This is actually baby basil, and the smell is absolutely beautiful. I've got some washed spinach. Always wash your vegetables. Now, I hate chefs that throw in dried spinach and, and um, lettuce. Give it a wash. What it does is it hydrates it, gives it a bit of freshness back to where it should be. Over here, we've got some basil. Now, this is a basil pesto. I've put some of that baby basil in there from my garden as well. A little bit of olive oil, a little touch more. I've got some fresh capsicum here, finely chopped. And I've got some finely chopped red onion, which I'm gonna to toss in. This is all gonna be part of my garnish and salad at the end. Now, these potatoes I have steamed in the microwave. That's all you need to do. See, they're nice and soft. You can see, they're nice and soft. Because if you try to cook these on this grill plate, they're gonna take forever. They're nice and soft. All we need to do is brown those up. Come over here and we'll have a look at the barramundi. Barramundi fillet with the skin on. Now you can score this to stop it from splitting. We're not gonna bother with that. We're just gonna put it on here. I'm gonna use lemon myrtle, which is an Australian native herb. You've seen me use this in many videos before. And also this is my lovely fresh baby basil from my garden. That's gonna be about it. Got a little bit of salt and pepper. And of course I'm gonna use some olive oil as well. Now to finish off, we're also going to grill some of this beautiful fresh lemon and squeeze a bit of lemon juice over the top. We might even add a hint of white wine. Um, if we don't, then you know you can just have a glass while you're cooking. Either way, your choice. All right guys, let's get it on. Okay, so we've got our griddle plate on. You can use a frying pan, you can use anything you have. I use this flat griddle plate because it's easy and I've got one anyway. So, but you go ahead and use what you like. Right, so then get it nice and hot and then we'll start cooking our potatoes because that's going to take the longest. Okay, a little bit of olive oil on the pan. Make sure it's a little bit hot. You don't want it smoking hot. A bit of oil on there. We're going to start cooking our potatoes. Basically, we're going to be browning these. That's all we need to do because I've already cooked them in the microwave. Our pumpkin that we're going to be using for our little side salad, we're going to toss on this side. This is raw. And when you cut it up this small, it really doesn't take a lot of time. Toss that out like right that. So now what we're looking for is a nice golden brown color on these potatoes. And we just want to cook these very gently so they're nice and soft. Okay, so what we're going to do now, move those potatoes over a little bit. I want to let that pumpkin cook, make some room, and I'm going to toss in some lemon for my garnish as well. A little bit of basil on the lemon, fresh basil from my garden, and I'm going to add in just a touch of lemon myrtle on the lemon, because we're going to add some of this to the fish in a moment, just a little bit on the top. Okay, now we're going to turn this lemon over, beautiful golden brown on that side. This is just a little bit of a garnish, adds a bit of flavour as well. I'm going to take these off now for my garnish. It's got a bit of a bite to it and that's exactly what we want. So now we're going to take this pumpkin off. Now barramundi skin side down. You can score this if you want to. Let's see how we go. Good. Let that sizzle. 
I'm also going to remove my potatoes now, they are ready to go. Give a touch more olive oil. Little bit of pepper. Cut the salt. Some of my fresh baby basil. Lemon myrtle. If you don't have lemon myrtle, you could use lemon pepper. It's just as good. And a nice crispy texture to that skin. Just leave it on there, don't turn it just yet. As you can see, it's starting to go from clear to that thick white. That means that the fish is cooking on that side, and you can see that that side is cooked, and this side is just needs to be a little bit more cooked. Perfect time to turn it over. Always cook your presentation side first. All right, I'm going to turn it over. Look at the color on that. Magnificent, beautiful, crunchy skin. Let's turn this over now. Here we go. And here we go. Look at that. Oh, look. Doesn't that look magnificent? Fish is done. My potatoes are ready. Pumpkin's cooked. I'm not going to cook the spinach. You can if you want to, but I want to sort of a... We're in spring, so let's keep it vibrant and fresh. Okay. So now what we need to do is pop our spinach in the center here. It's nicely washed. I'm going to toss my pumpkin just around there. with a beautiful potato garnish and that lovely salad with um, spinach, roasted pumpkin, sweet capsicum and red onion. A little bit of olive oil. This is absolutely delicious. I promised I would bring you this recipe. This is for Diana Locke. Diana, I hope you like this recipe. Give it a try. Come in here and let's have a look. Look how flaky that fish is. All right. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Let's have a taste. Mm. It's absolutely delicious. Um, one last thing. Always serve um, fish with lemon wedges when you're serving it for your guests. Just a little bit of lemon. Over there. It sort of adds to it. It makes a bit of a, a dressing for the salad as well. When you put that lemon juice on, it sort of merges in with the olive oil and it's never dry. Look at the colors, aren't they amazing? Look, look at that, come on. Beautiful spring, look at that. Another taste. Guys, it's just amazing. We are bursting into spring and this is a cracker. You've got to give it a try. Guys, take care. I will see you on my next recipe. Thank you very much.